So I've got a rope up over the tree that I'm going to use to pull the steel cable over that will then attach the winch to. Um, I need to pull the rope down, so I'm just making a little hook on the end of this hazel stick, which will help me do that. Okay, so now I've got the rope ready to attach the cable to. Right, so I've been able to pull the rope round, um, just fastened it on with this carabiner, but I'm not going to use that now because it's not really strong enough. Instead I've got this uh, bow shackle to use. So I'll fasten that back around the steel cable. Now it's going to be pulled tight around the tree. Okay, well it's ready for the winch. Okay, so this is a turf of winch which can pull 3.2 tonnes and lift 1.6. Uh, clutch is released, cable feeds in here, and with a bit of pushing, comes through the back. So we can now pull that through until it's tight. And We'll now fasten the back end of the winch onto the anchor here. Okay. Now that's locked on. You can pull this tight and then release the clutch. Right, now that's ready to winch. And because of the turpa winch, once it's pulled short and the tree starts falling, you can't really pull it fast enough to pull any more rope through. I'm going to fasten another rope on as well. Um, it's going to run a slightly different direction just for safety to make sure the tree doesn't swing off to the side and starts falling.